Here we go, this is gonna be a fun one. Not sure why I thought this would be a good idea. I'm hoping this is one of the first videos in a series of how to make a trailer. I got a lot of this scrap steel that I've been collecting. And uh, my buddy Beave was able to get me these. And I think these are gonna be like the main chunks here. I got four of these. I got two of these hydraulic cylinders I bought a long time ago for no good reason. I got a couple of extra old axles from a trailer house. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of getting started here. And break. Okay, here you can kind of see my plans. Um, basically, I am going to have a what I would consider a frame under another frame. And I'm not, you know, a trailer expert, so I don't know what that's called. Um, these pieces here are kind of pieces that I already had. And those are seven and a quarter by three and an eighth or so. I think they're a quarter inch thick. And uh, that, that's the basis for what started this whole freaking idea. Um, it's going to be 77-ish wide. That's to fit the trailer house axles that I have. I know you're not supposed to use trailer house axles. And everyone I've talked to said it's a horrible idea. Um, and they're, they're probably right. But uh, at least it'll get me something. If I have to cut them off and put something else on, I can. Um, I plan on running like about three stringers across for now. Uh, back one. Um front one here just to get everything square and then another one to uh, put mounts for the cylinders um, I'm gonna have an overhang here I think that'll just help make it easier to dump I'm guessing this is gonna be around 12 feet so I think they call this like a deck over um, the wheels will be underneath here I don't want to make fenders I'm not sure why more people don't make trailers like that probably learn when I'm done with this uh, I'm aiming to get this to dump to a 45 degree angle. These are just some hydraulic cylinders that I got. You can see here my idea of how I'm going to have tubing and then a, another uh, brace here welded in to hold it. So yeah, that's the idea. Stick with me. My god, my shop is embarrassing. Look out for the kitty box. Saw. Nothing real exciting, just my setup here, cutting out these end pieces. They're gonna be the pieces that go on the end of the channel for the pivot. All right, here's where I am tonight. I plasma cut all the holes, as you can see, and then I laid the beams back to back because they're not even close to being in the right spot. I don't even wanna show you how bad my holes were, and I'm gonna get it all lined up and tacked together. Well, that's tonight's progress. I got the slugs in there. Uh, it's all welded up. It's a good thing I am a better grinder than a welder. Should work. Well, I think I got it all squared up. You can see it's windy as can be. So I ended up putting magnets right there and right there. Um, I got it all leveled. It goes by the theory of piss you off itis. Um, you can see the concrete super unlevel, but uh, measure diagonals, got it pretty square, got it pretty level, and uh, I'll tack her together. All right, there's what it looks like, kind of all laid out. I finally got it all kind of figured out. Um, so freaking windy, I got all like magnets all over and a bunch of tape measures, but uh, I think I got it figured out. I'm gonna lap these because I think it's gonna be under the trailer, and who cares. And then these I got marked, so I'm gonna cut them all. And then it's so freaking windy that I probably won't be able to tack it together. You can see how I marked this. Just lop it off and uh, weld it all together. Here I'm just trying to square up the tongue uh, before I weld it. <sighs> kind of at a dilemma here. I gotta put the axles underneath. They're over there. And uh, 
I don't know, the best way I can come up with is just to flip the whole frame over and put the back the axles on upside down. So now I gotta flip it over. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that, so this should be interesting. Right now I got a cherry picker trying to lift up the rear. Yeah, wish me luck. Here you can see my setup for flipping this whole thing over. Hopefully this works all right. You can get a good view of what it's like on the tractor. There's my axles. Good thing my tractor's red to pick all this stuff up. I think I finally got it nailed away. The, the magnet technique has been a huge help. Um, but I got them sitting on here and I'm measuring back to the center uh, swing shackle here. And uh, I kind of about guessed where the center was on both sides and made that even. And then I also came down and measured from the outside edge. Um, a lot of people will notice that the frame looks a little too narrow and that's on purpose. I looked up what I thought was standard axle widths and uh, when these, these trailer house axles don't work, then I'll just torch them off and put the right ones on. But uh, yeah. I'll get this bracket welded on, and then we'll move on to the next ones. All right, I think I'm ready to lay down the final tax here, but I thought I'd stop and just say how it went. Uh, so I measured diagonally to get my center point, and then measured back. Um, I added a little bit of English, I don't know, anglage, to, uh, to the, the axle there, the shackle. And once I found a number that just seemed reasonable, it's like 26 inches. That's what I put that one and that one. Now I'm doing these. And uh, I measured the top of the axles now just to check and they're like balls on. So I'm hoping it's choice. Come on over, come on over, scientific but what I was worried about here is I don't have a lot of clearance between the trailer and the tire right here it's like three inches and uh, I didn't really know what to do so I took the tractor and I smashed for lack of better explanation this back corner down in what I would say is like a worst case scenario and I still have I don't know, my hands were there. I think it'll be alright. Continue. <laughs> 